Alright, so we know from a previous video that I'll link to that the integral of the secant squared of x with respect to x is equal to the tangent of x plus an integration constant. Okay, good, but what if we want to integrate the secant squared of ax with respect to x? So we now have to deal with an annoying little constant or coefficient in front of the x. So how do we deal with this? Well, is there a way of getting rid of this coefficient? Fortunately, there is if we use a substitution. So let's substitute ax for something else. And to do that, we'll let another variable, let's say u, equal the term inside the parentheses. So let u equal ax. Okay, so if we substitute ax for u, we also need to find a substitute for this dx here. And we do that by taking the derivative of u. If we take the derivative of u with respect to x, we simply get a. And we can rearrange this to du equals a by dx. And we can rearrange this again so that dx is equal to 1 on a by du. So that's simply dividing both sides by a. So then the integral of sec squared ax dx becomes the integral of sec squared u by 1 on a du. And 1 on a I can put out the front so we can say that it's equal to 1 on a by the integral of sec squared u du. So is this now an integral that we can find the expression to? And the answer is yes. So if the integral of sec squared dx is equal to 10x, then it would follow that the integral of sec squared u du is equal to tan of u plus an integration constant. Okay, we're not quite finished yet because we need to reverse substitute u for ax. So to finish off, we have the integral of sec squared ax dx equals 1 on a by 10 of ax plus an integration constant c. Alright, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. And if you can, I would really appreciate a small donation, either through my PayPal or through my channel page, because by helping me out a little bit, I can produce a lot more videos to help math students around the world. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.